The aggressive country Armenia continues to commit the acts of terrorism against civilians in blatant violation of the norms and principles of international law, including the requirements of the 1949 Force Geneva Convention relative to the protection of civilians in time of war and the additional protocols to the convention. The armed forces of Armenia are reportedly using the destructive methods of warfare and weapons prohibited by international law, targeted demilitarized zones and non-military objects, as well as the export pipelines that is fired the forbidden cluster missile at Baku Tbilisi Jehan oil pipeline on October 6, 2020. A rocket landed 10 meters away from the pipeline in the vicinity of Yevlak district of Azerbaijan, which is not involved in hostilities and situated in far distance at least 50 kilometers away from the area of military operations where the hot battles are currently taking place. As a result of the decisive measures of the Azerbaijani army, the terrorist attempt of Armenia was managed to be suppressed. By planning and waging an aggressive war against the Republic of Azerbaijan, Armenian armed units committed a terrorist crime, attempt to destroy the infrastructure facilities creates dangerous conditions for oil exporting and high-capacity crude oil and condensate export pipelines, which could inflict significant property damage. Baku Tbilisi Jehan oil pipeline is the biggest strategic project in the region exporting the crude oil produced in the Azerbaijan sector of the Caspian Sea, which provides the access to the world market by connecting three countries from Caspian to the Mediterranean coast that plays an important role in Europe's energy security. The idea of the construction and realization of the Baku Tbilisi Jehan main export oil pipeline, one of the most important components of Azerbaijan's oil strategy, is related to the successful devotion of the national leader of Azerbaijan, Heydar Aliyev. As a result of the decades' continuation of the great leader's oil strategy implemented, today Azerbaijan is recognized as a powerful state with its rising influence in the global political and economic sphere. Targeting Azerbaijan's oil and gas infrastructure, Armenia poses a serious threat not only to Azerbaijan but to European Union's energy security as well. The Baku Tbilisi Jehan Company has been founded on August 1, 2002 in London with the approval of the national leader of Azerbaijan, Heydar Aliyev, for construction and future exploitation of the pipeline. British Petroleum has been selected as the operator of the project, besides appearing as one of the shareholders alongside the companies from Azerbaijan, Norway, Turkey, Italy, France, Japan and the USA at the time. Connecting the countries, the largest oil export route of the millennium, the so-called legend of the three seas, Baku Tbilisi Jehan is a global project in a broad sense initiated by Azerbaijan that has already come confirmed its importance as being the basis of the east-west energy corridor. The pipeline is of 1,768 kilometers in total length and passes through the 13 districts of Azerbaijan, while also expanding through the seven regions in Georgia and nine in Turkey. Since the entire capacity of the Baku Tbilisi Jehan pipeline became operational in June 2006, till the end of the first quarter of the 2020, it carried a total of 3.41 billion barrels of crude oil loaded on 4,456 tankers and sent to the world markets. According to Gary Jones, BP's regional president to Azerbaijan, Georgia and Turkey, the Baku Tbilisi Jehan run is one of the safest and most environmentally friendly pipeline operations in the world. To date, Baku Tbilisi Jehan has demonstrated a high performance in terms of technical safety and operation. The pipeline is the main artery of energy exports in the region. Azerbaijan considers Baku Tbilisi Jehan as of strategic significance, which is the first direct connection between the close Caspian Basin and the Mediterranean Sea, providing easy access to the world market. In this respect, Shell into the Baku Tbilisi Jehan by Armenians are directed against the countries involved in the project too. However, it must be noted that Armenia's provocations and direct fire into the pipeline have failed and will no longer yield any results in case of recurrence of armed attack. With regard to the aforementioned criminal facts about Armenia's commitment, the criminal proceedings were instituted by the Prosecutor General of the Republic of Azerbaijan under relevant articles. Thank <laughs> you.